Hi, I'm Debbie Katz. I'm a certified clinical hypnotherapist here in the San Francisco Bay Area. I have a master's degree in social work. In 1996, I was trained and got certified as a clinical hypnotherapist. And now, I'm going to help you to understand the simplicity of hypnosis. There really are no best self-hypnosis techniques because it's different for everyone. But when you think about hypnosis and that it's a deep state of relaxation, that's the definition, and however you're going to achieve that deeply relaxed state is up to you. So sometimes just sitting down with some quiet music, closing our eyes, following our breath in and following our breath out, just by doing some of that breathing and sitting in a comfortable chair, there are recordings you can get. So, or you can um, just do it yourself and I'll give you a couple of tips on how to do that. So first you might want to in, um, induce hypnosis and the way um, some hypnosis, there's a number of different ways to induce hypnosis, but one is to, um, you know, confusional technique. Um, actually it would be somebody talking to you in, in confusing ways or you can actually do it with the numbers. You could open your eyes, you can count back from 100 and open your eyes on the even numbers and close your eyes on the odd numbers. And that's going to induce hypnosis because your eyes are going to get tired. So it would be like open your eyes on 100, close your eyes on 99. Open your eyes on 98, close your eyes on 97. You can see how confusing that can be. So that would be a confusional way that would induce hypnosis because you'd never make it down to one. You'd get way too tired um, doing that. And so the conscious mind has now gotten so confused it's just gone off and gone to sleep. And so now the subconscious mind is open, which means you are in hypnosis. So there's no right way. There's a lot of scripts and all kinds of things you can get on the internet. Um, any of those kinds of things um, will work. Progressively relaxing your muscles, uh, seeing a light coming in through the crown of your head, and letting the light drift over your whole body and just seeing every part of your body relaxing. That's a progressive relaxation. That's a good self-hypnosis technique. But really just doing some deep breathing, listening to some quiet music is really a wonderful way to just get into that hypnotic state when you understand that hypnosis really is just a deep state of relaxation.